Greetings and welcome to this interesting Somerset town. Today we are in rather fresh Froome. Uh, there are many tales of the supernatural and of ghosts that surround this town. I'm going to talk to four of these. One from 1477, another from 1675, one from 1803 and the last from 1915. Before I do though, I want to mention a few of the ghostly occurrences here. You've just seen one at the beginning of this very documentary. Another is the ghost soldier. In June 2010, at the Pack Horse Inn in Christchurch Street, West Froome, a customer of the pub captured what appeared to be an American Civil War soldier with a musket in his hands and a tobacco pouch attached to his belt, leaning on his thigh. Ooh. Who are you? My name's Caroline. Where are you from? I'm from Froomancred. Oh, that's nice. Yes, um, we're doing a documentary about Froome and I want to talk to the famous characters of this area. So here we are in the beautiful gardens of the chapel. There's been a lot of things said about Dr Glanville, but the only crime here is that no one actually listened to the poor man. Could you just please tell me what is in that bottle? Madam, this small bottle, this precious bottle, contains a generous measure of my wife's piss. It happened one evening when her apron got caught in the shaft. Suddenly the poor girl was drawn in and dashed on the floor. She let out most heart rendering shrieks. <laughs> anyway, we're back here in Christchurch, about to talk to the last of our ghostly guests, Henry Miller. I think I should probably stand up and start and move around a bit. Oh, oh Harry. Oh. Well, well, you're a lovely girl, Matt. It was nice to speak to you. It was lovely to meet you. Uh... I don't think I'll see you again. Oh. Goodbye. Goodbye, Harry. 